Hi, I'm Teresa Fraze. I'm an affiliate uh, faculty member with the Philip R. Lee Institute for Health Policy Studies. Um, I'm housed in the Department of Family and Community Medicine here at UCSF. And what have I been thinking about? Um, I've been thinking a lot about opportunities and how we can take what has been really just kind of a life altering year and a half for all of us that's really impacted the fabric of everything we do from how we live, how we wake up to how we go to bed and everything in between with this pandemic and, and how we can choose to move forward. So a lot of the focus has been on that devastating impact on how healthcare configuration may be changing on the impact of um, our primary care practices, our clinicians, and, and how this has really changed their lives and, and our patients' lives. Um, but with that really comes an opportunity. And so now as we're starting to move beyond this, as we've been kind of changing how we deliver healthcare out of necessity, um, we're gonna have an opportunity to make a choice. We get to choose how we move forward, how, um, how we keep things or what we don't keep about what's changed. Um, and so I've really been thinking about how we can make that lemonade out of lemons. Uh, so for example, you know, one of the things that we've really done is we've, piv we've pivoted towards providing virtual care. A lot of patients may really like virtual care. It's convenient. You can do it, you know, in the back of your car while you're dropping your kids off at, at school, you can do it in between meetings. And, and so maybe there are pieces of those things that we should keep that can help us optimize how we think about care delivery to really be much more patient centered, um, patient engaged, and, and hopefully also ease the burden on our care teams. Um, so the practical implications for this is really just thinking about how we can transform care. And this really comes out of a lot of the work that I've done in the past. My research has been focused on how is the healthcare delivery system organized, especially within primary care and family medicine. And what does that configuration look like? I've been interested in looking at rural health, which the opportunity for transforming and improving rural health beyond COVID. Um, there are so many potentials for how we can make that better, um, how we can improve social determinants of health within that. Uh, and really just how do we transform care? And this has been such an amazing opportunity over the past year and a half to think critically about um, what we've been doing uh, in our lives, not just in our healthcare delivery, but also in our lives, what's worked well, what hasn't worked well. Um, and my hope for healthcare delivery is that as we move forward, we continue to ask ourselves those critical questions about which pieces from this pandemic can we learn from? What lessons should we keep? How can we improve care both for our care teams, for our clinicians, for our patients, improve outcomes and make it a better experience for them?